I remember seeing our name on that board and I just don't think I'd ever felt that kind of excitement. I think it just kind of showed off like how much hard work we put in. It was really cool to redo what they did um, back in 06 and 07 and 08. It, like that was our thing, you know, we're like just one game at a time and there was never, like there was not one person in that locker room that doubted that we had what it took. Chicago witnesses the first person-to-person -person transmission in the country. Meanwhile, several colleges take their classes online and sports leagues start suspending seasons. I never thought it really was going to get like that. You know, everyone comes to a point where they can't play softball anymore but you don't expect it to be in the middle of your career. It was like, kind of feel like you got hit with a ton of bricks. We weren't done with our season at all. I wasn't even certain like if I was gonna ever get to step on the field again. We were excited to play, so it was really hard hearing that news. Last spring and then leading up to it end up being canceled. Um, I think a lot of us are, you know, we're hungry, we're ready to play. This might do it. Ferguson. Game is over. Louisville hangs on. For Northwestern, it's going to be a long Saturday night. <laughs> we got back into the locker room after that day, you know, knowing we were going to have to play again Saturday night, knowing after we won that game we were going to have to play another two games the next day. Playing at night in the fog uh, was one of the coolest things I've ever done. It was really cool to have the lights on the J. Um, playing at night is some of the most fun games you'll ever play in your life. Northwestern is headed to the regional final tomorrow. Um, after a long day like that, there's a lot of, um, you know, restretching, redoing everything, naps. A culmination of just everything that had been put into that season, you know, the ups and the downs and all the close games that we won. Hey, we need all seven games to determine who's headed to the Super Regionals next week. You know, being able to play in that environment, you know, with our fans. Being able to experience it, like, with them in the intimate atmosphere that is the J is was so incredible. 2-2 Two -two to Cochran. Base hit up the middle. Shellmeyer scores. Funky's throw, not in time. Two-run lead for the Wildcats. To third. Dunlap to first. Game is over. And Danielle Williams sends Northwestern to the Super Regionals for the first time in 11 years. You advance, Cats. Woo! When the regional kind of come back in that weekend uh, was a really cool experience. I don't think you could ever beat um, the feeling of winning regionals under the lights at home on the J. You know, that's something that I'm going to take with me forever. Winning regionals wasn't enough. Um, and I think we wanted more, obviously, out of that. And right now it feels like unfinished business. When the NCAA announced that they were suspending the championships, it was confusing and, and no one really understood what was happening. It felt like we were really starting to get our feet under us and get prepared for the Big Ten season to really, like, change the course of the season. We were just having fun playing and I think one day when we were told you can't play anymore for right now, I think it was a big shock. The day after the season canceled, I went to Kate's office and she's like, so what's next? Like, you know, like, how are we going to turn the page on this? Really sad, um, you know, especially not really knowing like when's the next time, you know, we're going to be able to practice. When's the next time, you know, we're going to be able to step on the field, put our cleats on. Her ability to just like be already so focused on like, how are we gonna get through it, what's next, rather than like kind of sit in that crappy feeling that we had is what kind of propelled me into like just having to like gut it out and train. And we did it out on the field and it turned into kind of an impromptu senior day for our seniors because there were a lot of questions like what happens next? Is, is my career over? Do I get it? Will I, will I put the uniform on again? You know, give them a senior day and to kind of celebrate them, you know, for everything that they've done for us, you know, we wanted to kind of take this time to really give back to them. You know, they were still able to have that moment and for us to really show them that, you know, we, we care about them, you know, their family. We needed something to, you know, say goodbye to our seniors that were leaving. We just wanted to be together. I think when anything difficult happens in someone's life, you just want to be together and know that you've got that support system. So that's what we did. Be together as a team, um, you know, one last time before we parted ways for a little bit. 
major decision tonight from the NCAA grants all Division I spring sport athletes an extra year of eligibility. I was fortunate enough to like kind of be a part of like some like SAC related um, initiatives to like pro to be proponents for student athletes getting a fifth year, which was really cool. So I felt really in it, but still like completely not in control at the same time. And I think I talked to Kate like the very next day and I just said, like, I just feel really unfinished. The, the first thing that we tried to do is figure out, okay, what are we gonna do next? And learn from those little things and learn more about ourselves than we ever had had time to in our lives. All of us made effort to talk to each other because we miss each other so much. We're used to just being around each other on the bus, in the hotels, all that, and it got taken away. So we've been doing this thing every single weekend after our practice, um, using part of our hours even to have mandatory fun. You know, we started doing like TikTok challenges, um, which was really fun. Um, and then just kind of like game nights. There was one that we did and it was us playing catch. And it was just like something so simple, but it kind of showed us that we're still able to work together as a team. Hitting this milestone of 20 years, you know, of course you're going to reflect a little bit. Even though Carol and I are, are squarely looking forward, it's, it's fun to think about how much we've grown here, uh, the relationships we've made, just the, the amazing women who are in our life. It's different at Northwestern. I mean, all around, and it, Kate and Carol are, are no exception to that. But when I committed here my freshman year, I knew that it was a special place. They're more than coaches to me. I mean, me and Carol, me and Kate, we talk about everything. Once I stepped onto campus, you know, you really feel that and you really feel the family culture. Working with Carol has, has been a gift. And when you think about it, it, it makes our journey so much more meaningful when we can do it together. You know, there's this unconditional love and support and trust that, that we share that I, that I like to think really kind of extends into the team as well. You feel so at home right away when you get here. It's not like they're not gonna push you, they're not gonna challenge you, they're not gonna make you go outside your comfort zone, but you never feel like they don't care about you. It's not just softball, they care about us as people. And so to know you're special to them, every person is special, that's the best feeling. The atmosphere, you know, that's around, it's not just embedded in the softball program, it's the athletics department as a whole. It's going to be a feeling I haven't felt in a while, and I think it's going to be excitement, nerves, you know, adrenaline, the butterflies in your stomach, it's going to be all that. The nerves are kicking in a little bit at this point. Oh, my adrenaline's going to be gone. I'm going to be ready to go, and it's going to be so exciting. My family just grew up being around Northwestern, so it means a lot for them. I don't really know how I'm going to calm myself down yet, <laughs> but we're going to figure that out. I'm not going to waste another opportunity. Going the extra mile, and saying, hey, we're willing to outwork everyone else in the country. I'm super excited to just step foot on the dirt and play some ball.